Ah, at last. I hope you found the place all right. Well, what happens now is you start your new life in the Dark Brotherhood. You're part of the family, after all. This, as you can see, is our sanctuary. You won't find a safer place in all of Skyrim. So get comfortable. Mmm. Yes, the silence suits you. Gives you an air of mystery. Now, down to business. I'm arranging a job for you. But in the meantime, go talk to Nazir. He may have some smaller contracts to tide you over. Soon, the Night Mother will arrive. And things around here are sure to get even more interesting. Ah, but one last thing. A welcome home present. The armor of the Dark Brotherhood. May it serve you well in all your endeavors. Be sure and introduce yourself to your new family members. They're all very eager to meet you. <laughs> again, again. Do the part where he tries to buy you some candy. Okay, okay, wait. Here we go. Oh, you're such a pretty little girl. Would the sweetie like a sweetie? Oh, yes. How about some chocolate? Oh, yes, please, kind sir. My mama and papa left me all alone. I'm so very hungry. I know a shortcut to the candy shop through this alley. Oh, yeah, very good, very good. Mine's dark down here. Oh, but you're so beautiful, such a lovely smile. Your teeth! No! <laughs> <laughs> no, bad, bad, but you are so wicked. What about you, Festus? How did that last contract turn out? Oh, yes, please, old man. Regale us with your tales of wizardry. Ah, oh, the young and stupid. Always mocking the experienced and brilliant. My contract went very well, I'll have you know. Tried a new spell. Little something I've been working on in my spare time. Came this close to turning that priest inside out. Damned messy. And what of your latest, Arnbjorn? Something about a Khajiit. Merchant, was it? Oh, a big doggy chasing a little kitty. How adorable. <laughs> <laughs> I am not adorable. It was not funny, and he wasn't a merchant. He was a Khajiit monk, a master of the Whispering Fang style. But now he's dead, and I have a new loincloth. <laughs> welcome, my brother. Everyone welcome to our sanctuary. You have true. made the right choice joining us, I assure you. But to be outnumbered, you just trust in Astrid, follow her orders, and you'll do fine here. Once I was a shadow scale. An assassin in service to the King of Black Marsh, trained by the Dark Brotherhood since the day of my hatching. Ah, but that was a lifetime ago. Today, I am the last of my kind. My order is extinct. Now, I happily serve Astrid in this sanctuary. I am a trained killer, and once again have been given purpose. Life is good. Kill well and often. Well, well, it's raw meat. Oh, my beautiful wife has told me all about you. I'll give you a week before you end up dead in a ditch. I might ask the same of you, for you are more than mortal. You are moonborn. You are wolf. So, you're a companion then. I can't imagine you got your gift anywhere else. I hope you have better luck with them than I did. Oh yes, I was once brother to the Companions. Let's just say they found my methods unsettling. The Dark Brotherhood, obviously, feels differently. Right then. Oh, 
So you're the newest member of our dwindling, dysfunctional little family. I've heard quite a bit about you. Ah, going for the mysterious and brooding thing, huh? That may work for your targets, but you'll find I'm not so easily impressed. Did she now? Well, as it turns out, there are a few lingering contracts we haven't had the chance to complete just yet. And more, dribbling in from time to time. I'll assign them to you as they become available, to be completed at your leisure. It is. These aren't particularly glamorous assassinations, I'll be honest. Don't pay much either. But they'll keep you busy. Just do them as you're able. There's no real time limit. The targets aren't going anywhere. You can turn each one in as it's completed, or wait and turn in the whole group when all the targets have been eliminated. Whichever works for you. Ah, well, I'm Redguard, as I'm sure you've noticed. Though not like most of my kind you'll find in Skyrim. That's for damn sure. I am a child of Hammerfell, born of the sands of the mighty Alakir. In that great desert, blood is a shade of crimson I can scarce describe. My past is long and storied, and not altogether proud. But the Dark Brotherhood saved me from myself, and I have never looked back. Well then, Let's get started. I've got three available right now. Your targets are the beggar Narfi, an ex-miller named Enodius Papias, and Baytil, a mine boss. When you've completed all those, we'll see if I might have some more. Good luck, and try not to get yourself killed. during the thunderstorm what can i say yes yes you're the new family member let's make this easy. consider me the cranky old uncle nobody talks to you go your way i'll go mine <laughs> well, i like to say i was born with a wand in my hand well not literally you can see how painful that would have been for mother but I was a prodigy, casting simple spells by one, completing complex incantations by three, resurrecting corpses by seven. Ha! Ah! When I was 13, I accidentally burned down the family home. Bit of lightning gone awry. Oh, but soon after, I mastered my gifts completely. I went on to teach at the college. Left after two years. Too simple. Too safe. None of them truly understood the glory of the destruction school. Until next time, brother. You infiltrated the position, eliminated the target, and made it look There you like are. Astrid's told me all about you. Impressive. Heard she pulled the old uh, choose your victim game with you. When uh, one can divine the future, one. success may not be assured. But it can We're going to love it here. We have a lot of fun. It helps, and we look out I've for each other, just like any family. Dead. I'm just a little girl. The Dark Brotherhood killed my mama and papa, and then they took me captive. Please, please help me. <laughs> Rather convincing, don't you think? In truth, I'm no more a little girl than you are. I was once, of course. 300 years ago. Vampirism tends to keep one remarkably fresh. Right then. <laughs> Nobody ever expects a fireball from the dog and corn. New brother, may I offer my most sincere welcome to our family.
You certainly have a strange energy about you. I look forward to following your progress. What a curious question. Well, I enjoy moonlit nights, taking long walks on the beach, knitting, and unicorns. In fact, I once took a seaside stroll on a moonlit night and discovered a unicorn, which I proceeded to stab in the throat with a crochet needle. I'm a woman of refined yet simple tastes. Right then. Me? I've been part of the Dark Brotherhood from the day I first hatched. I am Shadow Scale. Thanks again for delivering those supplies to the Greybeards. My daughter's driving me crazy. But forgive me if I'm a bit on you. Who are you? What do you want? Do you want something? Look, if you ain't gonna talk, or spare no coin, just go away! I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. I've got a letter and a lot of gold. Something about it being your, uh, oh, inheritance. Oh, and sorry for your loss. Looks like that's it. Got to go. The Jarl and I have our disagreements. Let's watch your sorry, hands around the leg. I'm really not in the mood. State your business or take your leave. I've a mind to run, so if you'll excuse me. Away from me. Who are you? You you're with the Dark Brotherhood, ain't you? I knew it. I knew you'd come for me. And now
Night Mother is mother to all. It is her voice we follow, her will. Would you dare risk disobedience? And should the punishment? Keep talking, little man, and we'll see who gets punished. Oh, be quiet, you great lumbering lapdog. The man has had a long journey. You can at least be civil. Mr. Cicero, I, for one, am delighted you and the Night Mother have arrived. Your presence here signals a welcome return to tradition. Oh, what a kind and wise wizard you are! Sure to earn our lady's favor. You and the Night Mother are of course welcome here, Cicero. And you will be afforded the respect deserving of your position as Keeper. Understood, husband? Huh. Oh, yes, yes, yes! Thank you, thank you, thank you! But make no mistake. I am the leader of this sanctuary. My word is law. Are we clear on that point? Oh, yes, mistress! Perfectly! You're the boss! Ah, there you are. Good. Tell me I was done speaking with that muttering you fool anyway. Ah, We've got some business to discuss. I do indeed. Mission. You must go to the city of Markarth, and speak with the Apothecary's assistant. You'll probably find her in the Hag's Cure when the shop is open. The girl's been running her mouth, wants an ex-lover killed. She's apparently performed the Black Sacrament. Her name is Muiri. I need you to talk to her, set up the contract, and carry it out. Just do whatever the contact wishes. Be professional, represent us well, and get the job done. Since it's your first contract, I'll let you keep whatever Muiri pays. She'll be generous, I'm sure. They always are. Wait! Oh, wait! <gasps> I know you. Yes. Yes! From the road, Cicero never forgets a face. I am! I am! But not just my mother. Our mother, hmm? The Night Mother, oh yes. <laughs> and you helped me, you helped poor Cicero, you talked to Lorius, and got him to fix my wheel. Oh, you may have pleased me, but you have surely pleased the Night Mother, and our mother, she will never forget. The Night Mother's crypt in Breville was desecrated. Imperial province is ravaged by strife. Nowhere there is safe at present. So Cicero brought Our Lady to her new home. Here, this is the only sanctuary left in all of Skyrim, you see. Such was my honor as keeper. What? Who is the Night Mother? Oh, oh, oh you jest. <laughs> you jest with gullible Cicero. <laughs> you, of course, know that the Night Mother is our unholy matron. The undying spirit of a great woman who birthed the children of Sithis. And... Killed them <laughs> in his honor. Hmm. That's like telling you about the cold of space or terror of midnight. Sithis is all those things. He is the void. Cicero takes care of body, oils it, preserves it, keeps it safe, makes sure nobody disrespects our matron's coffin. Me? Oh, Cicero is just the keeper. I keep, I 
look after our matron, you see, the Night Mother. I keep her clean and protected and <laughs> happy. But I am not the listener. Oh, no. <laughs> there is no listener. Not yet. But someday, 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 I pray that one will come to hear her. Say the words. <laughs> oh, well, the listener is the only person the Night Mother speaks to. It is the highest honor attainable by a member of the Dark Brotherhood. Though, of course, our lady is dead, so she doesn't talk with words, since her lips are rotted. But inside the listener's head, I hear it's intimate. Ah, but there has not been a listener in years and years. Our lady has not chosen Cicero, and certainly not Astrid, or anyone. But, someday... Right then. Oh, yes, mistress. You must be talking about the caravan, child. It's the part with the severed head I find most impressive. My compliments. When I first received the blessing of the wolf, my creator gave me a valuable piece of advice. Arnbjorn, he said, never lose. And I never do. I see you're back from Dawnstar. Vaytil lies dead, I hope. Is it true? Where of course she is. Master? I hear the mining business is extremely cutthroat. And those hours, the murder. I could do this all day. Here's your payment. You've got people to kill, my friend. Still here? What's the matter? Can't handle what I'm throwing your way? Congratulations. You slaughtered an emaciated beggar in cold blood. You are truly an opponent to be feared. Here's your payment. Good. And I hope you were careful in that lumber mill. So, Those splinters and rusty nails can be fast, quite nasty. By Sithis, you Your payment for a job well done. Except for the one you have to serve as a witness. Does your wickedness or your skill know no bounds? When I become wolf, I am treacherous. I'm sorry, I don't. And then, Come see me again then, later. There is no one who can stand between the hunter and his prey. Looking at me like that. The Dark Brother. Oh, oh, I. My goodness, you're really here. The Black Sacrament. It actually worked. What I need. What I need is for Elaine Dufont to die. I want him hunted down and murdered like the dog he is. I didn't know it when we were with each other, but Elaine is actually the leader of a band of cutthroats. Bandits. They're holed up in some old dwarven ruin. Raldbathar. It's near Windhelm. They use it as their base. It's where they stage their raids. I want you to go to that ruin, find Elaine Dufont, and kill him. I don't care about his friends. Do whatever you want with them. But Elaine has to die. Excellent. Once Elaine is dead, I'll pay you. In gold. I've saved up a bit. I hope that'll do. But... Well, there is one more thing. 
If you're interested. If you can, I want you to kill someone else as well. You don't have to, not as part of our deal, but if you do, I'll pay you even more. It's Nilsine Shattershield in Windhelm. If Nilsine dies too, I'll make it worth your while. I went to Windhelm to see the Shattershields. They were old and dear friends, and in mourning. Frigga was killed recently. Murdered. I met Elaine in the tavern while I was drinking my sadness away. He was handsome and charming. He said I was the beautiful lily of his dreams. Elaine made all the pain just go away. But it was all lies. Elaine used me. He ruined my name, destroyed my friendship with the Shatter Shields. Do you know why Elaine was in Windhelm? He heard about Frigga's murder. He wanted to befriend the family in their grief and rob them blind. Elaine used me to get close to my friends. And now they all think I'm some kind of monster. Elaine Dufont took my life, and now I'm taking his. Don't you see? I was like a daughter to Tova, a sister to Nilsine and Frigga. But the family refuses to believe my innocence, no matter what I say. Couldn't they understand that I was used? That I was grieving for Frigga too? No, they treated me like garbage, threw me away. With Nilsine dead, Maybe then Tova will realize what she's lost, huh? Maybe then she'll see that I was just as much a daughter as the others. And if not, may she drown in her own tears. I planned to kill Elaine myself, you know. Nilsine, too. But lost my nerve. I even brewed a special poison. Lotus extract. Maybe you could use it? Just coat your weapon with it. Then, you get the idea. Make them all pay for what they've done to me. A few septims for... Spare a coin. Talos rewards the generous.
on in. The Silverblood Inn has plenty of strong drink and clean rooms. Unlike my husband, Clever, I watch after all the guests. What was that you said, venomous wife of mine? Nothing, you pig-headed old... Well, what news? Is Elaine... Thank you. That bastard got exactly what he deserved. And I heard about Nilsine. You have more than fulfilled your part of the bargain. Please, take this. As payment and a symbol of my affection. I'll never forget you. You want a drink? We sold all now you just tell me if you need you something. Me. Did you make them yourself? That's right. Papa helped me with the clasps. But I did all the links on my own. Adara bends them. I'll be damned. Someone who actually escaped. You're back. So, how went your first real contract? A bit more exciting than what Nazir's been offering, I'd wager? Very well. I respect your discretion. Now, I need your assistance with a matter of a more... Mm, personal nature. It's Cicero. Ever since he arrived, his behavior's been... Well, erratic would be an understatement. I do believe he is truly mad, but it's worse than that. He's taken to locking himself in the Night Mother's chamber and talking to someone in hushed but frantic tones. Who is he speaking with? What are they planning? I fear treachery. You must understand, if Cicero is turning the others against me, against us, our family would not survive such division. Dear brother, I need you to steal into that chamber and eavesdrop on their meeting. It'll be no use clinging to the shadows. They'll see you for sure. No, you need a hiding place. Somewhere they'd never think to look. Like inside the Night Mother's coffin. No objections then? Good. Go now, before they meet and report back to me with whatever you learn. Until next time, brother. Brother? I'm sorry I don't. Come see me again later. Alone? Yes. <laughs> yes! Alone! <laughs> Sweet solitude! No one will hear us, disturb us. Everything is going according to plan. The others, I've spoken to them, and they're coming around, I know it. The wizard Festus Crex. <laughs> Perhaps even the Argonian, and the Unchild. What about you, hmm? Have you... Have you spoken to anyone? No? No, of course not. I do the talking, the stalking, the seeing, and the saying. And what do you do, hmm? Nothing! Not... Not that I'm angry. 
Oh, never. Cicero understands. <laughs> Cicero always understands. And obeys. You will talk when you're ready, won't you? Won't you? Sweet night, mother. Poor Cicero. Dear Cicero. Such a humble servant. But he will never hear my voice. For he is not the listener. Oh, but how can I defend you? How can I exert your will if you will not speak? To anyone! Oh, but I will speak. I will speak to you. For you are the one. Yes, you. You who shares my iron tomb. Who warms my ancient bones. I give you this task. Journey to Wallen. Speak with Armand Mortier. Poor Cicero has failed you. Poor Cicero is sorry, sweet mother. I've tried so very hard. But I just can't find the listener. Tell Cicero the time has come. Tell him the words he has been waiting for. All these years, darkness rises when silence dies. What? What treachery? Defiler, debaser and defiler! You have violated the sanctity of the Night Mother's coffin! Explain yourself! Speak, worm! She spoke to you? More treachery. More trickery and deceit. You lie. The Night Mother speaks only to the listener. And there is no listener. She... She said that. She said those words. To you. Darkness rises when silence dies. But those are the words, the binding words, written in the keeping tomes. A signal so I would know. Mother's only way of talking to sweet Cicero. Then it's true. She's back. Our lady is back. She has chosen a listener. <laughs> she has chosen you. <laughs> All hail the listener. <laughs> My Sithis, this ends now. Back away, fool. Whatever you've been planning is over. Are you all right? I heard the commotion. Who was Cicero talking to? Where's the accomplice? Reveal yourself, traitor. I spoke only to the Night Mother. I spoke to the Night Mother, but she didn't speak to me. Oh, no! She spoke only to him, to the listener. What? The listener? What are you going on about? What is this lunacy? It's true! It's true! The Night Mother has spoken. The silence has been broken. The listener has been chosen! When I heard Cicero screaming, I knew you'd been discovered. I feared the worst. Are you all right? Then what in Sithis' name is going on? Cicero spoke to the Night Mother, but she spoke to you. Is this just more of the fool's rambling? What? So Cicero wasn't talking to anyone else. Just the Night Mother's body 
And the Night Mother, who, according to everything we know, will only speak to the person chosen as listener, just spoke. Right now. To you? By Sithis. And? What did she say? Amand Motier? I have no idea who that is. But Valenrood. That I have heard of. And I know where it is. Hmm. No. No. Listen, I don't know what's going on here, but you take your orders from me. Are we clear on that? The Night Mother may have spoken to you, but I am still the leader of this family. I will not have my authority so easily dismissed. I... I need time to think about all this. Go see Nazir. Do some work for him. I'll find you when I'm ready to discuss the matter further. Oh, you are the listener! You are the listener! I have served Mother well, I have! 